Don Barth, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dimension Machine Company. The original building is about 5,000 square feet, goes back to that wall. When we first moved in here, we ran the whole business out of this area here. We had one Akuma lathe, several manual machines, a couple little CNC's. Now we've expanded back into about another 14,000 square feet. We've gotten busier over the years. We have purchased a couple other brands that haven't performed as well as we had hoped, so we kept coming back to Akuma. I left my job to go to work for another machine shop. Uh, the man had a stroke and died in two weeks. So I was out on the street. So I had to do something with five kids, so I started Dimension Machine in my garage. But kind of our generic philosophy was, how are we gonna do more with less? Throughout the years and throughout the progression, you could see some of our equipment. We'll have a lathe, then we'll have a subspindle lathe, then we'll have a live tool lathe, then we'll have a multi-turret lathe. So we've tried to progress to be able to enhance our technology so that we can do more with less. That's my daughter, that's generation number two. She got a master's degree in engineering, came up here, decided to try to stay in the family business. I used to come in and clean the bathroom, and then last year I started working on a CNC lathe. There was a convention out in Las Vegas. Larry Schwartz gave a talk about spindle utilization. I think the standard vertical machining center has like a 33% uptime, where horizontals is over 80%. And then they gave another talk using some sort of a pallet pool amp system so that you could continuously run, have parts going, have multiple setups. So we kind of drank the Kool-Aid and jumped in with both feet. We've got an Akuma built pallet changing machine so we can run a part over here, shuttle the pallets in and out so we can run two parts at the same time, keep the spindle running. This is Dan, he's the man. Dan, how you doing? Right. This is our newest addition. It's an MB5000H 500 millimeter pallet horizontal machining center. We also bought an eight pallet pool so we can run 10 pallets, set up and run 10 different jobs, run lights out. My dad's really, really good at finding that, not what will work for us right this minute. He sees that next thing. So we're looking at a robot, and we talked to Gosker at the IMTS, and they're working with us, so we're gonna put it in front of our LT. And they're looking at, well, if you buy this little robot, it will do everything that you wanna put on it right now. But we're gonna buy one bigger. Right now we put this big of a part on it, and it's really small, but later we're gonna put a bigger thing on it, and we have the ability to do that. I don't know how to explain it. It's like he just sees it. We had a high impact wreck on a machine, broke the slides, broke the turret casting, bent the ball screw. So we had to fly two of the parts in from Japan. They still had it up and running in eight days. Not that that's a typical problem, because that was our problem, we wrecked it, but that's very typical to get that kind of service and have that kind of uptime. They published 90 months mean time between failures on their controls, drives, electronics. We have never, ever, on a new machine that we bought, ever had a drive or a control problem. We keep coming back to Akuma. They've done a nice job. The spindles are running all the time. They're cutting parts, making money. You gotta get a quick shot. They run and run and run.